Huh. Yo, y'all read that title right. This is the song that we doing today. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third. Y'all guys, third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I was floored when I saw that this request came through because I never even heard of this person. By the way, this Patreon request comes from TF40. That's their name on Patreon. I don't know what the actual name is, but yo, I appreciate the Patreon membership. I appreciate your patience for me to get to this request because I had mad requests that I had to get to and I still have to get to. Anybody that has a request pending on Patreon, I promise I'm doing them. I'm just going, I, I gotta I gotta churn through them, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I was floored whenever I saw this because I was like, I don't even know what this song or who this person is. So then I go to look them up to do the reaction right now. 12 million subscribers, 118 million views on this video. Who, who? how did I miss this? I have never heard a single song from this person. And this song is back in 2016. I'm assuming it's pop music. I'm assuming it's completely different than, than what I would normally do. So I'm excited to do it because, you know, sometimes you just got to switch shit up just, just for the sake of switching shit up. This is one of the reasons I like doing Patreon requests because I never know what I'm going to get over there. But that's really all that I got to say because I'm excited to get into this. So follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at The Third Earnest, just like the channel. The links are down in the description below. And we got Melanie Martinez, Mrs. Potato Head, 118,343,009 views. Jesus Christ. Let's get it. Now, when I tell you I have no idea what this song is about, literally have zero idea. All right, obviously, clearly, clearly talking about the uh, the toxic, the toxic obsession with women and sexuality and, and having this perfect figure and basically making everybody feel like they're not good enough, like they have to strive to attain. They have to strive to attain to get to the next level of prettiness or get to the next level of being skinny or your lips aren't big enough, your ass isn't big enough, you know, your stomach's not flat enough, your hair, that type of obsession. That's clearly what we're talking about. She's playing with her dolls. She's got two different color hair. She's got a septum piercing. She's Obviously, clearly not your traditional, or at least they're trying to make it look like she's not the traditional type of beauty. And she's looking at she's looking at TV and seeing everybody seeing everybody basically shame her for not looking like what what what's on TV. I got that. See, like like blonde is the blonde is the beauty standard. And generally, blonde is the beauty standard when generally speaking, uh, minorities, black, Hispanic, whatever, like it's rare to see someone who is naturally blonde unless you come from like deep Mexico. Like in deep Mexico, Mexicans are, are light skin, blue eyes, blonde hair. But in the United States, generally it's straight brunette and dark skin. Stuffing her bra. Teeth aren't straight. I mean, teeth aren't perfect. She got gap. Got the wig. Tattoos. And then the diet pill. This is obviously an over exaggeration for is an over exaggeration for what they're trying to do in the video. But there are people like on extreme cases with body dysmorphia. There are people that are like this and it's only like this because Instagram tells them it should be like this. Twitter tells them the TV tells them music videos, magazines. They're just getting bombarded. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't born with it, you can buy a couple ornaments like to, to flash it up to make yourself look nice. But deep down, you're still going to be that same person. Plastic surgery, the jewelry, the clothes, it, like it, it's all superficial in the end because you're still born with what the genetics you're born with. All right, I see where this is going. Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, obviously they can switch body parts out. It's a bar. The, the, the song, the song, the song title is a bar. It's a good concept. 
sexual Hey girl, if you wanna feel sexual You can always call up a professional They stick pins in you like a vegetable Ha ha Sexual, if you want to feel sexual, you can always call up a doctor. They'll stick pins in you, dog, like vegetables. I don't know why the vibe that I'm getting right here, they don't have the same lyrical style, but I'm getting the I'm getting the Jesse Reyes vibe, like that same kind of like straight to the point, kind of straight to the point, shocking lyrics. Or I mean, I, I might feel it's probably a little more shocking because it's the video enhances it. But still, it's very straight to the point and literal, which is what Jesse Reyes' music is like. And her music is about like toxic love and those kind of things where this is about toxic, the toxicity in pop culture with body dysmorphia. Pins in you like a vegetable. Ha ha. Kids forever, kids forever. Baby soft skin turns into leather. Don't be dramatic, it's only some plastic. No one will love you if you're unattractive. Oh, this is the and those, that's a this is what I'm talking about. Like this is a, this is why I don't mind doing other genres of music, like pop music. Like I would if I ran across this on YouTube, I would have never clicked on it to watch just because one, it's pop music. I, I'm not really a huge fan of pop music. I, I like it, but generally speaking, I'm not listening to pop music. And the title "Mrs. Potato Head" would have threw me off. But yo, the song is deep, like already, and we're only through the first verse. The world telling you that no one will like you if you're unattractive. Yo. Oh, Mrs. Potato Head. Does the new face come with a warranty? Will a pretty face make it better? Mrs. Potato Head, tell me, because you, because Mrs. Potato Head goes through that on the daily basis. Is your is your quality of life any better for going through this pain and this, for this beauty? You know, it's a dope ass song. Mr. Potato Head, tell me, how did you afford her, sigir her surgery? Can you make the promise that you're going to stay forever even if the face doesn't stay together? Holy fuck, dog. Those are some powerful lyrics and the imagery to match and just like the whole, the way the video is shot. The way the video is shot is like, it has like this whole, it has this whole like Pleasantville nature about it. But but deep down, you can see the, you can see like the, the worry in her face. But the video reminds me of the movie Requiem for a Dream. Like specifically the mom who like, who goes crazy because she's lonely and she's sitting there and she buys the diet pills and she gets addicted and watch that movie. That movie is, is, a, is a hard, hard watch. But it's the same, it's the same sentiment and it's the same like, like wanting to feel loved and wanting to feel wanted so you go through whatever, you know? Holy fuck, this video is like, I don't, I would never be able to be a plastic surgeon. This shit is gross. This shit is hard to watch. And just the bar, the bar that she said right there, hey, like the potato can turn into like French fries and French fries are obviously more wanted than, than rotten potatoes, not rotten, but raw potatoes. Like all it takes a little more condiments and you'll be wanted. Like all it takes is a little out external physical change. All it costs is $100,000 for some compliments, like, like for the surgery. Crazy. <laughs> It's such a waste when little girls grow into their mother's face. But little girls are learning how to cut and paste. Can ah. poke up their lips until they suffocate. Ha ha. Yo, this song is deep, dog. Shit. I wasn't ready for this at all. Where little girls will grow into their mother's face, but that's not gonna happen anymore because of the because of the uh, because of the amount of plastic surgery and how everybody wants to change the way they look to be more enticing and more beautiful. Quote unquote beautiful. Kids forever, kids forever. Baby soft skin turns into leather. Don't be dramatic, it's only some plastic. No one will love you if you're unattractive. Oh, Mrs. Potato, they tell me, is it true that pain is beauty? And you know what's crazy is this this right here is exactly like the most recent music video I did by the weekend where the two where the two chicks had plastic surgery. I guess if it helps your self-confidence, but you shouldn't have to go through all this. You shouldn't have to have plastic surgery in order to feel confident about yourself. The only reason you don't feel confident about yourself is because the world is telling you that what you look like isn't what you should look like, you know? But what the fuck does the world know?
And you know what? And you know what's crazy is it's not like this guy is not like a he's not a representation of the male gender in general. This guy is more a representation of society. He's not literally one like, oh, I don't like you. You don't look good enough. Let me pay for your plastic surgery and then I'll get with you. It's not that type of relationship. He is he is representing society and society is putting that pressure on women in order to look a certain way. And he doesn't give a shit about what she feels about it or how, how she feels or how he's making her feel. He just cares about the end result. You shouldn't have to kill yourself in order to in order to feel wanted, you know? See, look, and then all that work that she got done and he still doesn't even want her. Like, you're never going to be like, it's never good enough, you know? This potato it told me is a true that pain is beauty. Does a new face come with a warranty? Will a pretty face make it better? Oh, See, look, he did all that and then he still finds a flaw. He still says, oh, I mean, it'll heal. I guess we can get through it, but I'd rather have your hair blonde than brunette. Like, what the fuck? The hook is mad catchy, though. I will say that. Will a pretty face make it better? Oh, Mr. Potato, will tell me? How did you afford a surgery? Do you swear you'll stay forever? Even if her face don't stay together. Stay forever, stay forever. Even if her face don't stay together. I knew it. See, like she went through all of that and he just moved on to the next because even after all of that, even after all the pain and, and physical pain, mental, emotional, like anguish, she tried to she tried to be as best as she could for him, but it was never going to be good enough. So she so she went through all that for nothing. Now she's got to live with it. Yo, I'm loving the ending of this video. Yo, I fucked with the end of that video because it's like basically, it was kind of like a dream sequence, I guess you could say, but it's dope that she realized, she realized the way that she was feeling is not, is not even worth feeling like that. Like she saw, oh, at the end, if I go through all that shit, I still might not be wanted, then fuck it, I'm just gonna be me, you know? And that's the way everybody should feel. If you want to feel more self-confident about yourself for your own personal reasons, if you want to, if you want to lose weight because you know you're unhealthy or you don't like the way your body looks or whatever, you know, that's all well and good. Just don't be doing it because society is telling you that you need to you need to look a certain way. Because society is gonna change. Who's to say that you're supposed to look like what? You're supposed to look like you. You know, man, that song was 100% deeper than I was expecting. That shit, yo, that shit was good. Yo, TF40, is that what it was, right? That's if I'm not mistaken. Yep, TF40. Solid ass request, my guy or my, my gal. But yo, that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please subscribe. All of these things, subscriptions, comments, likes, they help the algorithm see activity and push it out there for other people to view. If you potentially have a have a monetary donation or you find enough you find enough value out of the channel, maybe you want to get a request in, maybe you want to support with like $5 a month, $3 a month, check out the Patreon link down in the description below. Patreon is the only reason why this channel exists and can go in the way that it does. So if this is your thing if you feel like you're getting enough entertainment and value out of it and you want to and you want to support me in that way i would greatly appreciate it follow your boy on instagram and on twitter at the third earnest just like the channel the links are down in the description below hit up the discord also linked in the description below but that's all that i got for you today ladies and gentlemen i appreciate everybody's time and like i always say at the end of all of my videos go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other love and care for yourself and i'll catch everybody on the next video peace